Welcome back guys. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to indicate that a store is closed on your multi-vendor e-commerce website. So um, I'm going to click on this product and supposing I wanted to purchase this product, um, depends on what kind of product really. Um, if it's a product that has to be delivered within a specific time or like a short time, um, maybe like a food delivery service something like that um, then you may want to indicate that a vendor is closed at a particular time such that um, your customers do not purchase that product or pay for that product and you know they don't get product delivered to them so if i click on vendor info right here it shows me the vendor information okay um i'm going to click on vendor and on the vendors page on this right um, area here you see that the store is closed so it's important that for some people it's important that they have that displayed somewhere on the product page okay you know to enable people know that this store is closed okay so um, I'm gonna show you how to do that so first off you need to go to your cPanel okay and locate your WordPress installation folder okay, it should look something like this WP admin, WP hyphen content and stuff. Go into your WP hyphen content and then into your theme. Remember that you need a child theme for every customization you make on your functions.php file. So essentially, if you make a change on the main theme, in other words, if you're not using a child theme, when your theme is updated or if your theme is updated, um, you would lose all of those customizations and changes. So essentially, you make sure you do this on a child theme. Okay, so I'm going to open the theme and I'll locate my functions.php file. By the way, this is a local server. I'm doing this tutorial. Okay, that's why file is open up in my Windows. Okay, on my desktop, um, on my laptop computer, sorry. So I'm going to open the functions.php file. Okay, so this is the functions.php file. I'll add a couple of lines and I would paste in this snippet of code okay so I'll leave this code in the description okay uh, so basically I just got to copy this I right click I'll copy and I'll go to my functions.php file and then I'll paste it in okay so this is the snippet of code that will enable you notify customers that a vendor is currently closed and then I'll go ahead and save and let's refresh this page okay so remember that the vendor is closed in this instance I'll refresh the page and as you can see it says here that store closed okay you know so um, so essentially that's how you can you know notify your customers on the product page that a store is closed and then if for some reason you don't want um, to you want to change the notification you want it to say something else instead of store closed then simply just modify the code snippets so basically let's just go back to our functions.php file and then let's look at the snippet of code so this is the code that displays the store closed notification on the products page Essentially, I want you to come to this line. Yes, so on my on my functions.php file, it's on line 30. Okay, so there is a whole line of code here, and then just here there is stock closed. So this is the text you can modify. You can change it to vendor vendor closed. Or something whatever it is you want okay or you can see this so it's closed okay and then if I save and refresh the page okay so it's a the notification has changed to so this store is closed so essentially that's how you can add a notification to you can to um, show that the particular store is closed. Thank you so much for watching this lecture. See you in the next customization tutorial.